one, Louise from Gypsy Rose Divination. Um, I'm a flower psychometrist and um, today I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be demonstrating mediumship with flowers. So there'll be like three examples. Um, so I'm going to be tuning into the Deva of the flower and the spirit world and there may be a message for you with these gorgeous flowers so if you just want to listen up and let me know in the comments if the messages mean anything to you if you can take them hi welcome back to uh flower mediumship i'm going to do a couple of messages now so um let me know in the comments if any of you can understand any of these messages so i've been tuning in to this flower here and i have to say that i had the song by erasure the band erasure i love to hate you uh, that's in the lyrics i love to hate you um i feel somebody in spirit or you yourself really likes the band erasure uh, that type of music uh, 90s music um I feel we have a gentleman in spirit he may have been gay or he may have come across as gay not necessarily gay he certainly was a flamboyant character he's telling me um, but I feel that he wants to say that he was what is it ostracized for the way he was um, we have a group of flowers here these are people and it's purple it looks blue on the screen but it's purple I feel it's like a religion or spiritual group <clears throat> and I feel that this gentleman in spirit would have been um, criticized by so-called spiritual or religious people for either being gay or or calling him out for the way he was he was flamboyant i feel he may have liked music himself um i feel he was interested in the arts liked tv programs soap operas um maybe even opera himself he liked dancing uh, or watching dancing going to plays the theater um game shows there's something about game shows he either went to appear on a game show or he liked watching game shows um yes he was flamboyant and he was he sort of um learned how to deal with this group of people they could even have been his family dis distant family members like not necessarily his close family but like aunties and uncles that type of thing cousins um more the older generation i feel that he um they turned their back on him at some point he won't get invited to family events or i'm here in church but some i feel maps perhaps his mother or mother went to church and um, although she loved him and she was she treated him well like he should be treated um um others in his extended family um didn't invite him i feel he said he rubbed people up the wrong way he, he stuck up for himself So he was um, hardened to all of this and he kept, he had a jolly um, demeanour, outward appearance, but he wasn't always like that on the inside, he's saying. Um, yeah, there's some times in his life when I feel he was um, a bit down in the dumps, depressed. 
he had a challenging upbringing, he's saying. But this is all to do with his extended family, the environment he was with in. Um, he had friends, but he felt alone at times. If he'd have been around now, he would have um, spent too much time on the internet, he's saying. But the message for the person here is um, not to take so much notice of what others, you know, others' opinions are of you. Um, be yourself, he's saying. If you want to um, dance around the kitchen singing with a hairbrush, you do that. Nobody can tell you how to live your life or what to do. I feel it's a lady that I'm talking to here. Um, a lady who likes to wear nice blouses with perhaps with flowers on, um, brightly coloured clothes, full of life, um, but not without a certain amount of criticism from others. Whatever you're doing, pe people like to um, dig in. I feel it's because you've got a bit of a reasonably large family or there may be some connection with church yourself or churches versus spiritual um, centre. Could even be um, a spiritual centre for, you know, like um, more like a pagan centre. So don't let others um, dim your light. That's what he's saying. Let me know in the comments if you understand this gentleman. Thank you. So I'm now going to um, tune in to this message, mediumship message for this beautiful flower. I feel that I've got a strong sense of a gentleman in spirit that would have been interested in science fiction because I've been seeing in my mind's eye um, Doctor Who and his TARDIS um, H.G. Wells, The Time Machine, um, and also uh, Sherlock Holmes. It's just sort of that time period. Uh, I feel somebody was into literature. Something about the 1960s, I think either they passed in the 1960s or that was their era. Reading books. Sherlock Holmes, The Time Machine, very interested in science fiction. As I'm drawn to the 60s now, I'm seeing all these black and white um, TV programs and films, um, Invaders from Mars, uh, what's the one, the Quatermass, Quatermass Experiment, somebody very interested in all that. And um, as I link to this flower as well, I feel there's somebody here, their ancestor, their loved one in spirit, they would like to travel. Um, traveling here, but also like traveling in the past. It's like they wish they could time travel. Or there's, I don't know, it's, it's strange. It's like traveling back to various times, like Doctor Who in his TARDIS, like you could set a date and put it in the TARDIS and then you would be able to go there. Big Bang Theory, um, they did that as well, uh, <laughs> with a bit of humour with it. Um, so I feel there's multiple opportunities to travel, but it's like, it's it's creative feeling as well. So um, if you can't travel literally, um, physically then there's something creative you could do like drawing or um, art i feel you're very creative and this person would have been creative they had a creative um force behind them in their mind they would they would travel through books and literature but i'm seeing um holiday brochures as well so it's like through art you're um creating 
just, who understands this? Does any of you draw um, holiday destinations, places that you can't get to? Do you draw landscapes? <laughs> Do you have a holiday brochure? That's what I'm seeing. And then you can create this like sunsets and mountains and... Because I feel that somebody does art or they would like to do art. There's many opportunities to um, create art to do with either holidays or time travel. There's a bit of space in there as well. So it's like almost like a blend between fantasy, space fantasy, science fiction and um, distant holiday destinations. Does this make sense to anyone? <laughs> oh dear. So this, yeah, this gentleman, he, kind, he looks like William Hartnell in the first Doctor Who to me. He's got uh, his balding a bit of hair down here, and um, yeah, this this was an old older gentleman. That's how he's showing himself to me. Or he's really into Doctor Who, the old ones, and it's like um, losing yourself in some imaginary thing to do with either space or some sort of travel the message is um don't give up you've either not started it yet or you've got like plans um to draw paint coloring you'd, you'd be very good at it you've got an art background maybe even at school or college um i'm saying there's like a market sunsets sunsets as well there's some sort of market not a literal it could be online there's some sort of place where you could sell your paintings your artwork to do with holidays and or space and or imagination time travel let me know if that makes any sense. They give you their love. They was quite, they wasn't a, an outwardly loving, demonstrative person. They were very old school, you know, old, like an old, came across as a, possibly a grumpy old man. But yeah, they give you their love. Anyway, they, they want to have hugged you. It might not even be a, it could be like an uncle or a great uncle but there's somebody that's trying to put this across that's in your wider family possibly let me know if that makes any sense with you 